Bonjour, quelle heure est-il? Il est l'heure de regarder de la soul. I got you, hein? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy you finally made it. I've been waiting for that for ages. Yeah, we're glad we're here, too. Listen, because we were just watching Potholes, that was the one where Tommy Boy, a record company, made the $500 thing yeah. of who could find the sampling. Did anybody ever... Unfortunately, or probably fortunate for us, no one ever found it. No. So maybe somebody out there in Europe will find it. Well, I doubt it. You doubt, I, it. I doubt it. Well, I didn't find it anyway. <laughs> this is coming up now. It's got nothing to do with it. This is Super Lover C and Casanova Rod. Girls have got them luck. Let me now go back to the really, really old days. Because you, you had a fourth guy with you at one point. The mm -hmm. one you were DJing with. What's his name? Chuck? No. Charlie Rock. Charlie Rock. Mm -hmm. What happened to that one? He decided to go his own way and do his own thing. Fly yeah. his own spaceship. Uh, so, mm -hmm. he's kind of got got lost in his own spaceship uh, or something. We went to no? another planet. We landed on Mars. So he decided to stay there. We came down here to do work. And, you know, he's doing his own thing. And he's still positive and everything. But we still keep in touch. We all go cool with each other and everything. But we, he's just doing his own thing. We're doing ours. Right. Um, this, um, about the album, you, you really talk with like, um, how do you say, just changing the words into symbols. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the homeboys out there sit down and try to figure it out? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, they do, because they, they, you know, at first, probably a lot of people would think that they wouldn't, but, you know, when we meet a lot of, um, these people on the street, they like always, they always real like, They want to know everything that's going on in our music, so I, I really feel that they do, you know, because they come up to us and they say, yo, I was trying to figure out what this meant, and they ask us and we explain to them, so. Is that why you have China and Jet on stage with the QC? Yeah, just that's just a little to focus on what we're saying. Right. And also them expressing themselves, expressing our stuff with the sign language, that's also to focus on what's being said, too. But... It's it's kind of I mean because you present everything as a joke but you're really serious about it. It's it comes off it's a little different so people kind of find it funny in the first place. Then we have a little humor, but a lot of things we you know do we're very serious about. But you know we can present it in somewhat of a different and off the wall way that you know it's it's funny to listen to and to look at. But then you you take to it and say you know this really means something. So that's what we try to do. Because, like, a lot of the album is about pregnancy and drugs. Um, in the Midville, is that, is that really... I mean, it sounds like Midville is a really cool little town. But is that really, um, like, something that bothers you out there? Yeah, that's a big problem, you know, where we're, where we're located. We're surrounded with, you know, a, lot, a big drug problem and a big pregnancy problem. It's not like we're trying to focus on that only. But that also, it'll also come out in our music. Other things will come out also that we're surrounded with, but at the time that was that was one of the things that surrounded us. But even on songs like, I mean, Jennifer was an answer, answer to to Jimmy. Yeah, somewhat of an, an answer. Not so much of an answer, answer but, but just another side of the whole, the whole, like, you know, organization of that thing. Like, you know, Jungle Buzz had Jimmy, and then we came out with Jimmy. Right. And, well, we'll talk about, because you did a track with the Jungle Brothers, but first, this is from, for the homeboys on the smooth tip. This is Bobby Brown. Yeah. Yeah. I'm back with you. <laughs> Listen, the album was produced by Prince Paul from Stead, but yep. I have a feeling that like you <coughs> knew exactly what you were doing anyway. Mm -hmm. With or without Prince Paul, would have been the same. Well, it did make a difference. Paul helped bring out, you know, a creativeness in us more quicker than you know if we didn't have them so Paul helped us a lot especially with the first single a lot of things we didn't know how to do in this in a studio he helped us in learning how to work with the boards and put down things on track so he helped a lot and he's still helping us so next album is going to be with him oh again? yeah it's yeah? definitely it's a, it's a big family collaboration thing so right we'll always be making music together and Jungle Brothers mm -hmm. is going to be a close collaboration again yep yeah Family. And Ray Lur was in there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um what was that? Oh, sampling stuff now because you always talk about 
how you sampled, you know, your parents' records because this is where you grew up on. But when did you, I mean, where was, where did rap come in? Well, rap came in, I guess, when rap itself got real big. I mean, back from Sugar Hill to more, I would probably say more of the Def Jam age with LL Cool J and, you know, when it really started getting big internationally wise. And every, like, it seemed like everyone in your whole town was rapping at parties and everything. And that's when we all, like, just really got into it together. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, from there, we would always find stuff. And we was trying to even get out, but it's good that we didn't get out so soon because we learned more, you know, at trying to get out. And once we did, a lot of the ideas we had was more set and we knew what, what direction we wanted to take. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because you were saying that the old rhymes you used to do were kind of like what Ultramagnetics are doing now. So, yeah. in a way, I mean, Ultramagnetics is large. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you were doing shit in your little, you know, backyard or anything. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, it was sort of, we sort of went with what was going on then also, and it was like a lot of talking with big words was the thing, you know, in our town. So that's what we approached everything on. And like when we first came out, that's when everyone said, they said like, we're like, they, everyone compared us to Ultra Magnetic, but yeah, we took it into a different direction than they did. They, I'm, they're like straight up more hardcore, you know, than we are. And we just diverse it a little bit more. Is it is it true that what you really want to be afterwards is a manager? That Barry Gordy and your own manager Russell is like yeah, I really your I, idol? As for me, I mean, you know, right now as of course we're making music and I would like to get into producing a little bit more, but like, you know, I'm not one to like I wouldn't want to be one to stay in it too long once, you know, the seeds like run out. So yeah. I definitely would like to get into something else. Do you have any people that you plan on producing already? Mm, a couple of known, you know, people who's unknown and doing some stuff for Q-Tip from Quest, who's also down with Jungle Brothers, things like that. And, you know, us all working along together. So, that's about it. So. That's about it? Yep. Well, uh, it's time to see a new single now. Yeah. Me, myself, and I. If ever anybody offers you $500 to find out, well, where does that come from? I'll help you out. That's <laughs> good old George, in case anybody knows. But uh, there's no really, not really a record review this week because in case you didn't get it by now, you fools, this is the only one you need to buy. Um, actually, there's two more, Easy and NWA that I forgot to mention yes, in the week definitely. before. Yeah, definitely. definitely, especially NWA. And poor L. Cool J is coming up with a double album, and I'm not sure 22 tracks are good. Did you hear it? Mm, no, I haven't heard none of it. Well, I heard it wasn't all that good, but let's give L. L. a chance. Mm. For now, the Peace Posse is out, and this is it. And see you later.